Let me tell you a story of how I became a very unhappy camper and how we must take vengeance. It all began a couple of days ago while I was on my way to work. Oh well, I suppose it actually started in the morning when I opened my eyes and saw a message in Discord. It seemed that all of my adoptable sniffers were gone and I had to restock them. Yeah. Um. I figured, oh yeah, he's probably just gonna use them for a farm or something, you know? Um, or maybe making a cute sniffer area in the shopping district, you know? Something like that. And that was until I saw the next message. And that's when I started to get suspicious. What did he mean by clearing them all out, huh? Well, you know, surely not. So, I asked for clarification. And while Tooth was busy conspiring against the poor sniffers by making sure Kaimeda had everything he needed, Kaimeda sent an ominous message. The meaning was clear. He must have killed them. And... Tooth was in on it. He even defended him by having to be helpful. He was the only person to know of this horrendous crime. I cannot believe it. Ouch. He could have stopped it. He could have saved them all. But did he? No. But luckily on this server, we have an organization that is in place for this exact reason. For animal welfare, and although I must admit, I have probably, you know, been a part of thinking them slightly annoying, um, especially when they happened after um, Timmy. <laughs> um, that's all over now. And we must have vengeance. We still don't know for sure if they are unalive. We only have a hunch. So, I left an anonymous tip in these barrels. I think there's a system underneath so you can't check and steal the papers. But I left one in here because, you know, if you see something, you gotta say something. Because, as the man himself has pointed out, we don't really have all the proofs yet. So, we kind of need the proofs. Now, after that, it was simply time to return back to my base. And, you know, that was when Kaimida came over and played a prank on me. Um, in all good and fun, after all, I didn't know what was to come. We chatted a little bit um, about a new video of his coming up. Um, and how he said it was one of his best. While he was there, we also chatted and he helped me out with a problem I had all the time eating what I thought was a Minecraft version of those turkey licks the Americans get at Disney World. It was all peaceful until I saw his video. It was horrible but I had my proof. See for yourselves. I also need sniffer head. Mostly for decoration. So I confiscated this field over here that no one's using. And I went and bought every single sniffer egg on the entire server. Which actually happened to just be one stack. Plus the few that I had in my chest. So I'm going to lay every single sniffer egg out. We're going to watch them mature. Watch them hatch. And then slaughter all of them. Because <laughs> I need their heads. And their leather. Oh, this feels like a crime. Just, I'm just putting it out there. This feels like a crime. It's because I it is a crime. Lot of rose in. I thought maybe I was going to be able to get more than this. 
but this is all I could find on the whole server. So this he is going to have more. to do. Hopefully this is enough. I'm hoping we get at least two. I need, I need at least two sniffer heads. I was too short. <laughs> Look at this. It's just a field of snippers. Oh, this is great. This is great. Well, uh, enjoyed the uh, fun little time lapse of watching sniffers hatch and grow up. Welcome back. I'm uh, trapped in a box. As you can see, there is a, uh, a sea of sniffers. Uh, it's so loud, I had to turn the sound off <laughs> while I was sitting here waiting. Prepare for your, prepare your ears. Now the horrible part, this part feels illegal. I also wasn't sure if they could climb over walls because I haven't used sniffers at all. So I built it too high just in case, but uh, oh. This feels so illegal to do, but I mean, we are opening up a shop of, you know, exotic meat. So I guess this is needed. I'm sorry. I mean, am I? Oh, sniffer head. That's what I wanted. Sniffer okay. head. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I need to see anymore. I think I have my proof. I think I have my proof that he is evil. And we need our vengeance. He slaughtered them. Every single one. I mean, we can't let this pass. We are, we are the god of all magical beings and all creatures and... I don't remember. Something along those lines. We can't let this pass. It's basically our kids. Kids he killed. We can't just stand here and do absolutely nothing. Vengeance must be taken. First, we clearly need a list of all those involved. So firstly, we have Kaimidor. He killed the sniffers. He goes first. <laughs> he did everything. And then we have Jaffa, which swears up and down that he did not give him the idea, but I think he did. I found the clip that Kaimidor showed in his video. He is definitely guilty. And we already know Tooth assisted in the murders. Oh well, he might not have swung the axe, but he knew what was to come and he didn't say anything. So he broke the say, see something, say something rule. So for that he must die. Scuba, not only did he buy one of those god awful rocks of our children's children, he also ate the Sniffelix. And yes, we might not have consequential evidence that he ate them. But why would you buy him if you don't plan on eating him? Makes no sense, right? So therefore, he's also on the murder list. And then we have the second list, which is people who bought a rock. Obviously, Scuba is here, but Scuba got moved up because he had a different offense as well. And then we have perhaps Soonti. Now we are not 100% certain that Soonti bought the second rock. That is a hunch because I had a, a concerning conversation with her that led me to believe that she might have bought one. The plan is that we strike after we have played capture the flag as that is where most are more likely to be gathered at one place. We shall announce the winner and after that we will call up those on this list and then I will tell my partners in crime to pull the level and then they shall die. There's just one issue. I don't have the contraption that's going to kill them and at this very moment we can't go to the LA Alliance because the LA Alliance only gives fine. A fine is simply not good enough. So, I shall call in the only Minecraft redstone expert that I know that does not live on this server. 
my boyfriend, the only actual person on here who can't actually say no to me. Now, while I was about to start gathering resources, I heard the familiar click clacks of a keyboard, which can only mean one thing. Silver has arrived. Sadly, I lost audio, but she came to talk about the sniffer situation. She too didn't like it one bit, and so we formed an alliance based on vengeance. The plan is the same, except Silver will pull the lever and swiftly execute any of the suspects that survive the suffocation. She also swore to take vengeance on those that purchased a sniffer rock and put those to rest. May they rest in peace. We know that Scuba has purchased one and we have a strong suspicion that Sunti did too. Now we did end up going to Sunti's place to see if we couldn't find that rock. We searched high and low and there was no rock to be found, which leads us to believe that she either didn't buy it or she has it hidden in her inner chest, which is kind of the one that we think is the most likely. Now, I was also approached by another member, but I will let you, the video show you that. So, hey, Tris, um, you know I'm from the other right? Yes. Um, and you may know that we have an anonymous tips barrel. Yeah. Now, of course, we appreciate people's anonymity and we don't really try to follow up on that. We want to keep people's... We want to uh, ha have people be ha have the ability to, to really truly be anonymous in these sorts of things. Yes. Uh, but we, I got a few notes. Um, uh, um, uh, um, one of those is that one, and I feel like you're the only one that's uh, um, having a sniffers for adoption. So I sort of feel like it's. I think he killed them. So it is you. Okay. Yeah. So these two are from you then too, I guess. Oh. oh. Yes, it is very bad. Here is the <laughs> bad news. As the LA, we really only we only really care. We hmm, let's say this properly. We only really work and worry about the welfare welfare of the mobs in um, captivity. So as the LA, we can't really do anything if the mobs aren't in captivity. They were in captivity for a very they, short while. For Yes, they were, but then they were murdered. And so it's not really our jurisdiction anymore. That being said, um, for me personally, uh, what Kaimadar is doing is a really big issue. So I can't really strike against Kaimadar as the Alliance, but I can, of course, partake in a different group. I was about to say, I think you need to be careful, otherwise you are going on the murder list. Oh no, oh no, I, I very much want Kaimadar to stop whatever he is doing there. Mm -hmm. And of course we can't bring the Sniffers back, which is really sad. We can't bring the LAs back either. But oh. we can stop Kaimadar from hurting more innocent animals. And with that, Percy was a part of the team. Now, obviously, we were a little bit nervous about letting people know what we were up to because the whole plan would have fallen completely flat on its face if anybody got to know what was up. But we trusted Percy because his character the entire season has been for the welfare of the animals. And so we let him in on the entire plan. Now, it's the day of the event and there's a few things that I'm not too happy about. Therefore, I had Percy come over and take a look at some of the redstone bits. He did the thingy rejigger that spits out the names so we could get it spit out in a specific order so we knew who would be on which team. 
This is also the only part of the game that was rigged, because I needed the people to be on a specific team if I was going to kill them. <laughs> he also took a look at the other machine uh, and fixed a few bits and bobs so that I was able to have it flat. So I think that's great. And then it was kind of just time to play the game and see how everything turned out. I'm gonna go over there and make sure everything works and then I'm gonna call you guys over one by one and we'll get you guys settled into your teams. So step one of the plan is to get everybody safely secured in their white teams. So the plan kind of went downhill because we didn't really have time to communicate before the game started so where and the logistics kind of fell apart and i was trying to stall and silver couldn't really get around so it kind of didn't work as intended we did get him at last though as you can see <laughs> yeah, have the let's flag. be quiet let's be quiet yeah okay can i have it Fine. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. What? 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 Whoa. Whoa. Are you what? What? <laughs> you didn't see. Can anything. you do that again? No, you didn't see anything. Huh? What? what just happened? What? Yeah. Do that again. No, nothing happened. I'm. I'm. I'm fine. I mean, I can. I can. Go on. What, what are you trying to do? Stand there. No. Nope. He's not going to stand there. He's going to lose his. Do oh, there you go. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, wow. One down, three to go. Okay, we didn't get him in the first go, but he's supposed to log on in just a few moments. And um, I best believe that Percy's going to come and help me get the last one. Hopefully, we get him on this go so he doesn't. Escape us again. Well, you need this. And I think as soon as you just see him move, you move. No, pull the lever. No, nothing. Just go. Just go. <laughs> they do, they do, here, they do. Awesome, 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 Hi. awesome, awesome. Come here. I hello, suppose, hello. I suppose you can just stand here because Percy's already gotten his money. Okay, oh, look at me. Okay. Come closer so I can keep you in Good the screen. Sir. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit too close, buddy. There we go. <laughs> okay, so firstly, I wanted to thank you for coming today. For yes. I'm stuck. There we go. Um. Uh. For, yeah. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's revenge. Oh, we got two. Now we can sleep, Percy. We can sleep. <laughs> that oh, I is thought I set my spot. Vengeance. Vengeance. <laughs> you helped. You helped. You kept it secret. You knew what he was doing, and you didn't say a thing. We don't like his tooth. Mm -hmm. Death was very much deserved. Oh, it's totally fine. It's totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I did help a little bit, so I I do admit I I had some, I had some doing parts of it. Mm-hmm. Just some. But I. Yeah, yeah. I accept. I mm -hmm. accept that. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, you're off the list then. Yes, we should take you All off right. the list. Unfortunately, but I'm not gonna. I I promise I won't. I I didn't give him any sniffer eggs. I I promise. I I kept my sniffers away from him, and they're never going to have to see what happened. Mm -hmm. And just so you I know, promise. part of those children were Elias's. <gasps> no! So you helped kill your own named sniffers, kids. I'm so sorry. You should go apologize to Elisha. I uh, will, I will, I will. I will. I'll even. I'll even take some of my eggs and I'll. I'll hatch some sniffers for the base. That sounds like a good idea to make penance. So we got two. And two out of four is pretty good. 
Although, considering what happened to Korn, soon he definitely needs to be moved up. So, we are actually at 2 out of 5, which does not sound as impressive. And of course, right now you're wondering what happened to Korn. Um, well, don't you worry, it'll be in the next episode. Um, because this one is already too long, sadly. But yeah, you'll find out there. But yeah, we got both Jaffa and Tooth. Tooth admitted that he did wrong. Jaffa still won't admit that he was wrong. So Tooth has should be removed from the Book of Vengeance. Of course, we still need to revenge more on Jaffa. And the rest of them still needs to die. Of course, we need to make life a little bit miserable for them as well. So, we still got lots to do. And that... Yeah, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. So, I hope you'll stick around for more building and vengeance and all things that will happen, I suppose. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed this week's episode and I'll see you in the next one I suppose. Don't forget to have a lovely day and dream big everyone.